All right, everybody, the auditions has officially begun. So go up on stage and show me the wonderful voices that you all have. Oh man, I can't wait to hear those glorious, glorious voices. Well, so here's the stage. Here we are now. Sweet Caroline, bum bum bum. Good times never seem so good, so good, so good. You used to call me on my cell phone. That's not what you mean, my love. You used to call me on. <laughs> All through the day and night, I'll try to turn that cheap stress in my mind. My city of stars, are you shining just for me? City of stars, there's so much that I can see. Who knows? This is the start of something wonderful. Oh, one more dream that I cannot make true. Yes! Yes! You're the star, kid. You're the star. You officially are the star. Welcome. Welcome. Hey there everybody, this is Twenty Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Sing! So Sing is directed and written by Garth Jennings. This is from the same director of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And this film has the voice talents of Matthew McConaughey, Reese Weatherspoon, Nick Kroll, Taron Edgerton, Scarlett Johansson, Seth MacFarlane. And the film tells the story of this koala named Buster Moon who owns this theater but his theater is in major trouble so in order for Buster Moon to save his theater he must create this singing competition where animals from around the city can go and audition for this singing competition. Sing is a film I was actually very very excited for. This was one of my most anticipated films for the rest of 2016. I was hoping it would be a film that would absolutely deliver and in my opinion coming out of Sing it delivered. I really enjoyed Sing. I thought this was a very entertaining family animated film and something that I thought Sing did a very good job at is definitely you know the singing because you know duh the movie's called Sing so you're gonna get some singing here although yes it's gonna have singing to some of these pop songs or even to Frank Sinatra songs most notably with Seth MacFarlane's character but you know you do get those kind of songs in here and I thought they were actually blended very well I thought it did fit for this singing animated world and I thought the film did a very good job of just putting those kind of songs that pretty much this world is known for. And that's another thing. I actually thought the humor in this film was actually very well handled. Some of the parts in this film actually did have me laughing. Whenever the humor felt necessary, some of the time I was actually really laughing with Sing. One of the things that I actually really do admire about Sing is actually how character driven it is. This is actually a very character driven film. And this is not one of those films where it focuses on one plot. You have so many stories to follow in this film. You're following Buster Moon's plot. You're following Ash the Porcupine's plot. You're following the Mother Pig's plot. Uh, Rosita, played by Reese Witherspoon. You're following Taron Edgerton's plot as Johnny the Gorilla. Then there's also Mina the Elephant. And then there's also Seth MacFarlane as the character of Mike. You're following all these stories. And when you hear that that could sound convoluted it could sound complicated however I didn't really feel that way I actually felt like this film did a very good job of balancing these character storylines and that's what I actually really
really liked. Matthew McConaughey is actually really great as the koala. He's kind of on and off with his voice. Like, there's actually some bits where he's playing Matthew McConaughey, which was a little weird to me because from the trailer, I didn't hear a single bit of Matthew McConaughey, but there are some spots where he's Matthew McConaughey, and then there's other spots where he's that high pitch. Oh my gosh, we have to do this, we have to do that. So it's kind of weird. He does go on and off in his voice performance, but besides that, I actually thought Matthew McConaughey did a very good job as the koala, Reese Witherspoon having that nice bubbly personality absolutely fits for the mother pig and the mother pig might actually be my favorite character and that's that's saying something because there's a lot of characters that I actually really liked but I have to say of all the characters honestly the mother pig uh, Rosita might actually be my favorite character so I thought that was actually a very well handled plot there were some very funny bits that came with Rosita's plot that I actually really enjoyed. Seth MacFarlane is really great as Mike the Mouse. He is a very greedy mouse and that's all you really know about this character. He's greedy. He's just singing it for himself. He just likes to be the show off. But you know what? I'm not gonna lie. He was actually a very fun character. Uh, he's not one of those characters where I'm annoyed with him. He's not exactly the most likable character, but for some reason he still contains some of that likability. I don't know if it's because of the personality or the voice, but I still found myself enjoying that character. Taron Edgerton's also really great as this gorilla. I really enjoyed following his storyline because you do feel bad for him because you don't want him to go in this thug life like his father and the other crew. And I thought his voice fit so well because he was great in Kingsman Secret Service, he was great in A the Eagle, but it was really nice to just hear Taron Edgerton in an animated film. I also thought Tori Kelly did a great job as Mina the Elephant. She is a shy elephant. You know, she wants to sing, but at the same time she doesn't because she's very, very shy. And I think I could actually relate to this character because I am someone that is actually very, very shy. She's the kind of character where you want her to overcome her own shy. And then, of course, I can't forget about Scarlett Johansson as Ash the Porcupine. Just like with pretty much almost these characters I'm mentioning, you do feel bad for her, honestly. And I'm not going to get into too much details with her plot, but let's just say that you do feel bad for her. And although she's a teenager, although she is this rebel, you know, she she doesn't give up. She wants to follow her dreams despite what she goes through. She just wants to follow her dreams. And then there's also John C. Riley, who was also really great. Not too much of his character. He's just Buster Moon's buddy. Pretty much that supporting guy. But he was really good, honestly. And I have to say, Nick Kroll was so freaking funny as Gunter. I thought he was so good. I would have liked to have a backstory with him to be honest because there's really no backstory. He was just that bubbly character. And I think that's fine honestly. I think I, I'm fine with Gunter just being this bubbly uh, character and that's really all there is to him. But he was still a really enjoyable character nonetheless. And all the other voice talents from Leslie Jones who does voice Mina's mother. And then you have Nick Offerman as Norman, which was Rosita's husband. You have other voice talents and I thought everyone definitely gave it their all when it came to their voices. The animation is also definitely something to admire because it is very colorful. As you can expect in an Illumination film, it's very bright. It's just so vivid and it's just so wonderful. It's so beautifully detail from the background to the character designs. All of that honestly looks so amazing in my opinion. I really did love how the animation looked. The attention to details was very impressive. Nothing felt too bloated honestly. I did feel like it was a very well balanced movie as far as which characters that we follow. I really did like the message about following your dreams. You have to take risk in life. The risk may be scary and all that. But once you take that risk, you know, you're going to get to where you want to be and need to be in life. And I have to say that the situations in an animated world actually felt pretty realistic. Like Johnny's story, I'm pretty sure there could be someone that could relate to him. And then of course how they handled the mother pig's story, like how she's feeling, what she's going through, that felt realistic. It may be an animated film, but from the way they're telling these characters' storylines, actually felt realistic in my opinion. And I 
I actually really, really appreciate that about Sing. And really, without going into too much details, I did love the climax. I'm just gonna say this, the climax was pretty damn epic, it was really funny, it was really entertaining, I'm just gonna leave it off at that. Now Sing, to be honest, I don't really have too many problems with, but my only problems with Sing is like, like I said with Gunther, I would've liked to learn about him, I would've liked there to be a backstory with Gunther. Also, as far as pacing goes, this is for the most part a very well-paced movie. I'll definitely say that for the most part it does get going, but I'm gonna say around the middle section, the movie does kind of feel a little bit slow, like, I could definitely feel the pacing dragging just a little bit. I felt like I was watching a two hour long animated movie. And I don't mean that in a bad way, it's just that watching the movie, I, I just felt like I was watching a two hour long movie rather than a one hour, 30 minute long animated movie. And after looking at what the actual running time of this film is, it actually makes sense why I felt it was a two hour long movie. But that's not in a bad way by any means. But maybe they could have just shaved off a little bit to maybe just cut down the running time. I don't think it necessarily had to be one hour and 48 minutes. And then yes, although I was really invested in the storyline, I was really invested with these characters and where life is basically taking them, you could predict where the film is gonna definitely go. You could predict how everything is gonna conclude by the end of the film. Yes, there is that predictability. And sometimes, not all the time, but just sometimes the humor didn't always work for me. Most of the humor did, and I'm just gonna say this, the funniest scene in this film deals with the car wash. I'm just gonna leave it at that. That was hands down the funniest scene of seeing in my opinion. But yeah, some of the humor didn't always land with me. But honestly, that's really it to be honest, you guys. I really enjoyed seeing. I thought seeing was actually a very entertaining family film. It put a big smile on my face. I really enjoyed following these characters. I thought the storylines for these characters were very well told. It was very well animated. It was very well written. It was very well directed. It definitely didn't disappoint me. So I'm gonna give seeing three out of four stars. I thought it was solid, it was good, just made me so happy. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Sing, and also I do want to thank the cameos, the random Eric, Kevin Falk, Adam Haskell, Brian Mendoza, WWE fan, and Justin Watches Movies for making their own cameo appearances in my intro for this review. I really appreciate them taking the time to do that. If you want to check out their channels, I will leave a link in the description down below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, you guys, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.